Hello everyone, my name is Pixel the Monk, and welcome to the Monk Cave. Today we are going to be doing something really fun and really exciting, so let's go ahead and look at our Book of Things to be Done, Episode 10. Today we are going to be working on the Nether Rail system, and that's where I'm headed to right now. And this is an automatic, pretty much, system that will allow me to get on and off the track, no problem. And I have been doing a lot of work uh, since I have seen you in the last episode. Quite a bit, actually. But what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to show you how this whole system works. Let me grab a minecart here. So let's say I was going on down this rail here. And I was coming from this direction back to my nether portal. So I'm on my track right here. I'm riding it. And now I am automatically off. How easy was that? And you're probably wondering how I did that. So let me get my minecart back here and I'm going to show you how that worked. So what happens is when the minecart passes on by, it goes along the rail here and it hits a cactus. Now when it hits the cactus, it turns into an item. That item then goes into the dispenser and then the hopper. The hopper has a timer comparator system built into it. It dispenses the minecart out right here and it brings it up the stairs. And I'll show you that as well. It goes up the rail right here and it comes to this position. Now, as you know, the rail goes straight across and it stops here where there's an unpowered rail. Now that is going to keep that minecart there until I want it to. There is a button down below that I push. It powers this rail right here and it falls down onto the track. So you guys want to see it firsthand? Okay, let's do that. I'm going to push the minecart here. I'll show you how this works. Should dispense. It goes up back where I showed you. It should be in position now. I then push the button. The minecart should come out and we're ready to go. Very, very simple system. Uh, very, very simple. In fact, I gotta eat some food. Uh, I did have some mishaps while making this whole system. <laughs> uh, I was attacked by gas and it killed me and all my stuff dropped in the lava. Now this is what happens to a lot of these zombie uh, pigmen get stuck in the cactus. Now I have built trails to each of my different locations within the game. So I'm gonna change my desert rail from over there to over here. So it's a little faster to get to and also it's not gonna cross paths with any other uh, of the, the rails. Cause I don't want that to happen. And so I kinda wanna go over the six, is it six? No, it must be eight different locations within my Minecraft world that I kinda wanna go to. Uh, this way is to the jungle, we already know that one, and it's kind of a jungle-themed rail, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to theme all of these rails uh, exactly built like this, but with their own specific, or own biome-specific blocks. And then we're going to have the Mesa biome, which is going to go right here. Over here we have the end, which isn't very far away from my coordinates, actually. And then we're going to have the mushroom biome right over here and it just goes straight out the desert biome will be down this way and savanna it's right next to it i checked ocean monument biome going down this direction here the ice spikes going down this way which is actually quite far from my location and this one is going to be the dark oak forest i think that is all the rails i'm going to add to my nether system I don't think I'm going to need anything else. That's a lot, actually. Eight different locations uh, to go to. This is going to make it really easy and really simple for me to go to those different destinations. So we have our little system here. Uh, the rail, the hopper, and the dispenser. Now we need to build the little timer system that is used to recognize when an item is in the dispenser. So what you do is you put a comparator down right here, and the little arrow has to fade face outwards. Then you click on it and make sure that little redstone torch is up. Then we got to add in our redstone and a repeater. So we're going to go redstone, a repeater, just to extend the signal, and then redstone all the way around. Now it recognized that there was an item in the dispenser. So let's try it quick. Let's put a button in the dispenser. Comes out, 
as you can see, it spit right out back into my inventory. So I was trying to think of a few different ways in which to design kind of the entrance to this little rail system here. I have no clue how I want to do it, honestly. I don't know, something like this. Does it look, look interesting to you guys? I mean, I'm going to make this whole thing, I would love to make this whole thing quartz and lapis because those look really good together. And I don't know, this is kind of what I'm thinking of as like an entrance to each of these rails. I'm not 100% sure yet though. Maybe out of the nether brick, since there's a lot of that around. Make the floor out of nether brick? Maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Um, what do you guys think? Should I go ahead with a kind of design like this? You know what, let me grab some lapis and I can show you too what I mean with the lapis and the quartz together. Okay, I got my lapis. I want to show you how this is going to look. Um, let's just build it. Let's see here. I don't know, let's do something like this too. Let's give it a little bit of depth. See what happens. Let's replace this stuff with the nether brick. There it is. I don't know, something like that. Does that look kind of interesting to you guys? And then the ceiling I'll probably make out of another brick as well. Now I don't have a ton of lapis on me. I have to kind of improvise a little bit, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Does that look, uh, does that look kind of cool? I was thinking it looks kind of, I think I was thinking it looks really cool. Actually. In fact, you know what? Let's use the rest of my quartz here and, and kind of see where I get. Today's episode is brought to you by Rotten Flesh, the most delicious of treats that might make you a little extra hungry. <laughs> All right, everyone, I think that this is going to be the final design of the nether rail system. As you can see, I added lots of quartz, lots of lapis lazuli, and lots of glowstone with nether brick tops and bottoms. And I think this is uh, the final design I'm going to go with. I think it's very simple. I think it's nice and bright in this room. And it looks really good. However, I only have this side done. I don't have enough lapis to actually finish the whole thing. I'm going to have to go do a lot and a lot of mining. But uh, that's it for the nether rail system. We'll come back a little bit later on uh, in the future, in future weeks to uh, see the finished product after I mine all of my lapis and start on building all these rail systems to their destinations. Now in the next episode, we are going to continue on our castle here and we're going to start building the center building, which will be in a circular shape and it's going to have a dome on top. And I haven't started building this in creative mode yet, but it's going to still stick to the same general theme as these two towers over here. So we're going to start that in the very next episode. I hope that you guys did enjoy this one. And if you did, please hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you next time. <laughs>